Today at the City Escape, we are once again firing up the Weber Q. I have never cooked a steak on the Weber Q griddle, so we're gonna compare that versus a steak off of the Weber Q grates. So stick around for Weber Q griddle versus Weber Q grates in a steak off. Today we're going to be grilling these two beautiful ribeyes that I just got from the butcher. And all I'm going to season these steaks with is coarse ground kosher salt. No pepper, no oil, nothing else, just salt on these steaks. And of course, I'm going to season both sides of the steaks. And I'm going to let these steaks sit for about an hour. And here now you can see that after that hour, the salt has melted into the meat and now these steaks are officially ready for the grill. Out here I've preheated the Weber Q for about 10 minutes. It is piping hot and it is ready for these steaks. The first steak goes onto the griddle. The second steak onto the grates. And for a grill nerd like myself, this is actually kind of exciting. So we're gonna close the lid and give these about three and a half minutes. And after that time goes by, it is time to flip our steaks. You can see those beautiful grill marks on the grates steak versus the griddle steak. I'll close the lid and keep on grilling. All right, so now these steaks have been on for about seven minutes total. And we're gonna go ahead and temp these steaks using a digital meat thermometer. I'm looking anywhere between 125 and 130. And both of these steaks are coming in right around 126. So I know when I take them off, and they rest a little bit, they'll probably go up to about 130, which is pretty much perfect for a medium rare steak. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these off of the grill, give them about a 10 minute rest, and then we'll have our taste test. And these steaks can get in my belly. Weber Q griddle versus Weber Q grates. Which do you think will win the steak off? Okay, so here we are. We've got our two beautiful steaks. On my right, we have our griddle steak. And on my left, we have our steak that came off the grates. And you can definitely tell by, of course, the grate marks. So let's uh, give these a bite. We'll cut them right in the middle and see what we're, we're dealing with here. Super juicy. and juicy on the uh, on the grate side as well so griddle grates let me know how they look um, first off I have to say that I think that the grates I, I just love the grill marks on the grates better than just the flat uh, grill mark so appearance wise I would say right off the bat the grates are winning it for me but that is either either here or there because what it comes down to is the taste so first I guess I'll taste the the grates see how that that's awesome that is an awesome steak right there. I'll tell you, the Weber Q makes a really, really great steak. And now we'll try a piece from the griddle side. Mm. 
Mm. Wow. It almost seems a little bit saltier, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll do another taste from a different part of the steak. Okay, that's from the grates. Again, very delicious, excellent, perfectly cooked steak. Try a piece from here on the griddle steak. Yeah, I think that the uh, I think that the griddle steak, because there's nowhere for it to drip, I think it seems just a tiny bit saltier, like that salt gets trapped up on the griddle. Whereas the grate steak, the salt can actually fall through the grates. Uh, not that the saltier steak is bad. I think I actually prefer the grates better. Um, it just seems like it's just a little bit less salty. I don't know, maybe that's my error where I salted this one more than I salted that one. I, I think they were pretty much even. They were the same size steaks. I had the butcher weigh them out for me. Appearance-wise, I would go with the grates. So appearance, a little bit less salty. Not by much, but the victory goes to the Weber Q grates in the steak off. Well, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when new videos come out. And of course, keep on grilling.